That is amazing. Ranga, have you watched uh, Avatar The Way of Water? I'm planning to go maybe next week. Next week? Yes. My okay. family, my wife and kid just went last night. Oh! Said, Perfect. I know, right? Yeah, it's about three hours yeah. of pretty much just magic. And as we know, Avatar The Way of Water is poised to become one of the years... Uh, one of the years, hang on, the prompter is not working. <laughs> Biggest film releases. And if we remember, the first Avatar was released in 2009. It was the highest grossing Hollywood film in history, making more than $2 billion. It's a lot of money. Whoa, that was about 10 yeah. years or so ago. So the Avatar sequel now is three hours long, but it is hardly boring as it features stunning mm -hmm. visuals and cinematics. Interestingly, the film's director, James Cameron, was inspired by the beauty of the Indonesian waters and the Bajo tribe mm. when turning his vision to life. Yes, indeed. And to welcome Avatar The Way of Water, Disney Indonesia recently collaborated with artist Alex Abad to create this art installation that you've seen a little bit over there. And to discuss about this art installation, we have Alex Abad right here. Hi, Aad. Good morning. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> Good morning people. Thank you so much. Thank you, see today, for making me normal. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you for the invitation. You are wonderfully normal to be able to make such a beautiful arts installation, which Thank is, you. I assume, is Payakan? Well, yeah, it's supposed to be, but before we get into there, right. I just wanted to say when you said that it was perfect, yeah. yes. when your family watch it, right. just, you know, just to go off the grid, yeah. was it perfect without you or...? Oh. <laughs> that is a very good one. Um, no, I'm, I'm just that... kidding. <laughs> no, because sometimes when we watch movies, yes. when we get too excited, yeah. We tend to forget that we are just the audience. We yeah. somehow end up become part of the film. Yeah. Right. And then we, you know, we're making weird noises. We move <laughs> our hands and then we hit the other yeah. people next to me, like how it happened to me when I watched the second one. Right. I was, you know, standing up and wow. clapping oh, and yelling no, you when, when, you know, when right. all those things happened. No, that's right. true though. And did you experience that as well when you make your art installation? Good question. So, <laughs> now we're here. All right, so... Um, just to rewind back, what was yeah. your first? Yeah. How did I get there yeah. or how? Yeah, I mean, it's like, um, how did you end up creating Payakan? Because we know that this is your third big art installation. I see. Uh, how did you get to collaborate with Disney? Right. And at the time, what went through your mind to sort of like, oh, I'm going to create this? <laughs> well, you know, at first, I, I had the same questions mm -hmm. because uh, Disney China reached me for the second time. The mm -hmm. first time was for their... Uh, the one before, which was Black Panther. Mm -mm. But I couldn't make it because I was doing another project. Right. So they offered me this, which was like four months ago. Mm -hmm. So, and I asked them, why me? Mm -hmm. How did you end up thinking that I should be the one who yes. should do, the, who should do this, this installations? Mm -hmm. And they said, they saw the piece, the one that I did on Arjo. And it was a, a, a series of thoughts that I put together. Mm -mm. And it became... Uh, a cliff of pillows mm, mm. and from there they thought mm. maybe you should be the one who do this mm. to express things that we wanted to convey yeah and from all of the characters why did you choose Tulkun okay yeah. so we knew that uh, from the first film that any of those animals we've seen mm. has similarities to what we've known throughout the histories from all those animals that we had and some are gone but we had and if you see Tulkun, it has a similarity towards the whale that we know. Yes. And whales are mammals, and we are mammals. So basically, yeah. they used to live on land, mm. and they managed to somehow lift on the sea, mm. either by must or there's no other way, right? And judging from that, I believe we human now are facing one of the biggest, uh, well, environment concerns. Yes. That the sea crisis, are, in fact. There you go. The sea, are, the sea, they're rising, right? All over the world. So there will be at some point, we need to know how to deal with the situations. And I've seen the whale manage to do that. Yeah. Oh. And in that scene, we can see one of the characters that represent human. Mm -hmm. And Tolkien represents the whale. Mm -hmm. They're swimming by the sea together, right. holding hand to hand. And that represents how nature and us collaborated each other. Yeah. So I wanted to portray, portray that and put it onto this one installation. That's beautiful. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> very deep. Well, yeah. 
right? It's lovely. Us mammals, of yeah. course. We, I never, as me personally, never really thought about it that way. Well, I mean, there's a, there's so many ways we can see us yeah, as human. Perspective. Yeah. Right. I mean, some would say we're we're you know we're fires. Some would say we're human. Some yeah. would say we're mammals. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many ways to say who we are. Mm -hmm. And some would say we're souls. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, a little bit what you just said. Um, yeah. Um, environment. Yeah. Uh, we know that your art creation is is using plastic bottles. True. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the story behind it? The idea of using that. So, we know we needed plastic. Yeah. There's no other way that. I mean, the day human decided to use oils and uh, the after waste of, of oils be, could be used as plastics. And that's one of the most material that not only ergonomically easy to design, mm. it's it's it could be used for anything. I mean, there's I mean even the needles that we we human use for medical purposes right. are now made from plastics. Right. So the only way for us to deal with plastic is to always reuse it again and again. Either it's recycling it right. or upscaling it. Right. So I use both those ways and put them together into one piece. So I'm upscaling the leftover plastic bottles yes. and I'm recycling it to become something new. Yes, yes. So I thought this was the best way to convey that. Mm -hmm. And judging from the film that your family must see yeah. from the first and maybe the second if you see it again, I mean if you decided to see, mm -hmm. in that film they talked about how the indigenous people fought for the rights of them to live, not only to live, but to live among their nature. Mm. 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 How to keep their nature the way as they are. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what Avatar trying to say. Yes, okay. And I believe Avatar is not an action-packed film, not only an action-packed film, but it's actually a love story. It's a story about family. Mm -hmm. And wraps around all this technology, and, and this CGI, right. well, I mean, no, it's not CGI, more like uh, 3D, mm. and, and all this action packs. It's a love story. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to have to go and get them to go watch with me again, my wife. <laughs> of course. <laughs> right? Absolutely. And see if they would say it's still perfect or not. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cheeky. No, 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 I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> he got me again. <laughs> I know, right? And the installation itself, you name it, so life goes on. Yeah. Why so life goes on? Well, um, we as human who manage to do so much things mm. for the good of others, for the good of each others, and for the good for ourselves, and not many other, uh, I would say, living, living things amongst us has the capacity to do that. So, since we know how to, I think it will be become our responsibility to deal with it. So I decided that we should somehow think what we could do. So life goes on. So life goes mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and oh. when, when people see the installation, yeah. uh, it's not only visually pleasing, but apparently there's a soundscape aspect oh, of to course. it. Of well. course. Yeah. Could you please tell us like, what, what would be the experience yeah. when someone just stand there and observe? <laughs> All right. Well, one of the reasons why I wanted to do uh, art at its purest, especially installation, actually, I mean, I love art. I mean, you're in film as well. I know film has all the part, all the department of art combined together to become film. Yes. And, but I wanted to go back to the earliest part because art itself, it's very primitive. Mm. People wanted to say things mm. through mm. art. Yes. And that's what I wanted to do. Mm. I do this because I have something to say. And we do now these days have so many platforms to say what we wanted to say. But to go deeper into that, to go deeper into the mind and feel and what you feel, you need to go more than 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are ways to go to penetrate that. Yes. So I decided to do that because I have something to say. Now, if we wanted to say something, there's so many ways we as human can actually uh, perceive that from what we see, from what we hear, from what we touch, and all that combined together through what we thought. And if you want to go deeper, if you have more time for yourself to what we feel. So I have to use all of those elements. So, so we I can touch it? Of course you can touch it. Wow, I, we're allowed. Any, any piece that I've done so far, I don't want it to 
to create a distance. Yeah. Mm. Or, or, or uh, I wanted to create something that you could always touch, and you can actually put something on it. Like if you have a used bottle ah. that you don't want to right. throw, away, throw away, you can always put it there as part of the installation. So all, all of us together, yeah, no we could be part in saying what we wanted to say. Right. You said something about when you want basically the people to feel mm -hmm. something because that's the point of art isn't it art yeah. is there for us to make us feel something yeah when you were making it mm -hmm. and then when it's done mm -hmm. and when you observe it and enjoy it what kind of feelings do you experience well so let me answer the first and i'll go there <laughs> because somehow it's connected um so all those elements that I've used, either lighting, mm -hmm. which is for the eyes, yes. and from there you can see depth, the mm. distance where you are. Yeah. And I use the sound, why? So that you can hear. Yeah. So it creates not only what, what you see, but where you should be when you listen. Mm. So uh, I've used this uh, idea to always use sounds in any of my piece mm. and lighting. So mm. it's a part of my whole uh, characters. Mm. The sound that we're creating, we are actually making, creating the soundscape of you being inside the water <gasps> and coming out of the water as you hear something huge comes out of the water and falls into the water again. The challenge is how to make that something huge does not sound like a falling train. <laughs> exactly. It has to be some. Did you go to the sea and find a whale and wait until the whale jumps I and wish, then splash? That. I yeah. wish I could do that. Right. But we we on, we I only have five days to do. Right, right. So okay. we had to create with all the technology that we could use. Okay. We had to create a living thing that comes out of water as big as the three storage trains mm. <laughs> that falls onto the sea again, <laughs> and how to create that feeling that makes you feel that you're there. Yeah. So it's a symbolized uh, of, of you being on the water and inside the water. And again, that, that only so that you would feel what happens in the sea these days, mm. that all those animals are swimming around our waist. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, in I a way, it's like little, empathizing, right? Yeah, I want to go a little deeper here because it's very interesting to me. That, again, this is my very first time meeting you. Yeah. Listening you talk for the, the last five minutes, very, <laughs> um, it's just opening up the mind a little bit because it sounds that it's very, um, I want to say maybe it's, this is not the correct terminology, but uh, spiritually um, uh, 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 focused that you, when you're doing your work. Is that so? Do you really have to stay, like maybe do you have to meditate or... Oh. Things like that. Just wondering well, how you know things well, come into uh, fruition for go. you. There's another way uh, for any of us to con to to describe us human, which is right. a spiritual being as yes. well. Yes. And and if we are already a spiritual being, some would need to go deeper with meditation. Some mm. are just being themselves, and they are already, then they're already oh. a spiritual being. Mm. So if that's what you're saying, I would say that. Maybe since we only have five days to do this, mm -hmm. I couldn't manage to do any meditation. Right. But throughout the process, and to answer your question, my art is not the installation. Yes. My art is what you feel if you go there and see. Oh. Mm. My creation is not what you only touch here, but, but what you carry with you home. Mm -hmm. when you see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The interpretation, because each there, one right. of us will have different there interpretation, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and I've come to realize that after, after the second uh, piece that I did in Arjo, yeah. I created a nine meters and seven meters height um, uh, an, uh, installation, right? They say that's the art, but after two months yeah. watching those people coming in and out, yeah. after I'm watching how they react, yes. they're my art piece. So you're actually in the corner, of, at the corner of the room, sort of observing I'm very, people. <laughs> I'm very, yeah, I know it's quite spooky, yeah? No, it's not, is it? No, but... It's the artist wanting to experience... Course, because my art is not my installation. My yes. art is, is those people who watch and feel. I and, uh, like, like any movie directors or any movie yeah. uh, film creators, yeah. their art is what the people carries home yes, with them. Yes, yeah. that's correct. And, and, and so... 
So I'm actually, the reasons why I do uh, making art in such a way is because I want to liberate myself from all those standardizations of, course. of, of how many people watch the films, mm. uh, uh, the standardization of, of uh, either you were a good, uh, a good actor for that role or yeah. not and stuff like that. And, yeah, yeah. and I want to liberate myself and taking myself away from it for a while yeah. so that I feel free. Yeah. Because here there's no standardization for no. whether it's right. good, bad, you know, it's, it's what you want to say. Can you say it through your art or not? Yeah. And actually, films are like that too. Mm, mm, Can mm. they say what they wanted to say through yeah. that all those series of moving pictures? It's nice to be able to express yourself as an artist in different ways, right? Different modes and stuff. Because well, I know that you're also a business person. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're many, many things. So, so what's going to happen to Baby Payakan or Baby Tulkun oh, after the exhibition is over? That's a very good question. <laughs> of course, any 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 artists who created things wanted to be wanted their piece to be part of the people mm, mm. and that's my goal in the future that hopefully by any given chances I wanted to create art that could be part of the people mm. like either I would respond to a part of a cliff or part of a lake mm. or a river or seas and stuff like that because because after all art is part of us, yeah, yeah. human. Yes. Yeah. So if my art can only be watched or be enjoyed in one certain private room, mm -hmm. um, I don't think it becomes an art. I think it's just become an infant, you know, inventory or an investment mm -hmm. piece. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think it would reach uh, the goal because so my is it goal is. Is it going to be in a public space then? Uh, hopefully. Well. Uh, I've heard that Post Block wanted the thing to stay Post there. Post Block, take it! Hopefully, if they <laughs> want it, of course. And Art, Art Jakarta is coming. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, if if it makes sense for them, I don't mind if they can put it there for a while. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Who knows? Who knows? Because, again, <laughs> it's a big chunk of it is. plastic bottles. <laughs> they're, they're, they're almost, ta well, more than a thousand plastic bottles that we combine oh, together. Wow. Plastic bottle, fishing nets, and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it almost completed at the moment? Well, uh, I've come to realize that anything about art will never be finished. Never gonna be. No. Okay. I mean, if I've right. given a, a chance, really, yeah. Yeah. I would actually work on it again. Mm -hmm. Not not because it's not done, but because oh, you know what? I think I found something <laughs> more to say. Yes. Mm. And I needed this, and I needed that, and stuff like that. Mm. Of course, of course. Never going to be a complete product. Of course. Because humans are evolving. Yeah. True. Our minds, of True. course. True. I, I come to uh, realize that talking to you here for the next uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> it's really, really good. I love this session. I know, uh, thank you. I thank know, you. right? <laughs> this is the thing that you get when you talk to an artist, yes? yeah? Yeah. So what's yeah. next for Aat then? Well, um, I, I love writing. Yes. So writing, it's, it's since I was a kid, since I move around a lot, either you know inside the this island, this big chunk of island that is actually one of the most horizontal island in line with the equator yes. Yes. compared to any other islands yes. in the world. Yes. yes, I've been moving from all those cities here and there, and I had to learn new languages. Like I went to Surabaya, mm. of course. I used to live in Perak, Buramitelu. Right. Lo, tenan lo. Lo, tenan lo. Yo, so I was there as well, and I had to learn new ways to communicate. It was not easy for me. Yeah. yeah. So I tried to write down what I wanted to say, in, just in order for me to communicate. Right. Just in order for me to feel like I'm connected. Mm, mm. And that has become a way for me yeah. to, to say what I, I needed to say. So you're writing a book at the moment? I've been writing a book. You've been writing a book, uh, so it's in the process. Book. It's in the process. What it's is it about? To go out. It was supposed to go out in the uh, year 2019, but uh -huh. the pandemic came uh -huh. and everything has to be postponed it. What is this about? It's about, well, I've written, so far, written uh, 30 years of my life. Oh, I Stuff, see. poetries and stuff like yes. that. Well, it used to be diaries, used to be lyrics of a songs. Yes, yes. And then when I look at it again, mm. nothing is personal, everything is. Nothing is personal, uh, everything is, yeah. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Everything is. Yeah. So I thought it should be a piece for everyone as well. So I decided to write this poetry about what had happened to me 
mm. in the 90s mm. and then after the millennium and the first decade after the millennium. First book of poems. Books of poems, yeah. And and when I see it again, it's so different than what I've written these days. Really? Like it's, but you are going to release it, right? I'm planning to release it and I'm planning to release in many different forms, not only books. So either it's... Um, either it's... Uh, Musicalization poetry. Oh. oh no. And then books, and then I'm, I will be create a piece that has poetry on it or based from my poetry. Oh, that's beautiful. This reminds me of, you know, the jeweler Tulola? Tulola. Right? Tulola uh, also tries to combine um, what do you call sastra literature? Yeah. With uh, the beauty of, of jewelry. Yeah. So they made this beautiful necklace with Pramudia Anantatur's uh, wow. writing. It's oh. amazing. So wow. I can see that happening with you. As well. Yeah. So that's <laughs> next. And hopefully I will be creating. See, I had an idea of of self awareness. Mm. Of well, not only self awareness, more about awareness. Mm -hmm. Because to be aware, you need to realize that you're not aware. Yes. And when you're not aware, yes. you realize that. Yes. You're aware. You're aware. Yes. So I've created five different concepts, and the first one was the one in our job. Mm -hmm. So there are four more. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to create an anatomy. Mm -hmm. What is the form of awareness? If it's supposed to be, if it if it takes place in two form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the first one was in the, our job. That was the brain. Mm -hmm. And hopefully I will create the part. The next one is the feeling, and then it will continue. Wow, but I don't know whom and where or when I could do that. Good luck, Aat. I look forward to seeing your you. art form Hopefully, trying to express that. feelings. Wow, feelings is so abstract. Good luck. <laughs> yes, I will for sure need it then. Yes, thank you so by much. By the way, yes. this whole thing was inspired by, by the film itself. Yeah. Um, did you see the trailer? No, I saw the film. Oh, you're lucky. I had to see the trailer first <laughs> and thought about what would it be like to create a piece from a trailer. Wow. Oh, okay. And there it is. Imagine. It is still yeah. there, right? Until it the is still there, January? probably until, the, yes, the 12th or either okay. 15th of January. Or maybe more if Bob Post Block decided. Post Block, Post -block there you go. Up we'll <laughs> to you guys. Looking forward to that. We hope that's going to stay there for a little bit longer than expected, yes. right? Yes. Everything's going to go as, as planned. Mm. Hopefully. Alex, thank, thank you, you come, for coming in. I thank you. Right? Have a good rest of the week. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And good luck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys, we are up for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at C Today News. Stay tuned. When we come back, C Morning Show 